My name is Xander Smith. I am a senior here at Missouri Baptist University, and I'm majoring in criminal justice and forensic chemistry. The first and foremost thing about me is that I'm a Christian, and I make sure that that um, flows through everything that I do in life, and that I live by the code of the Bible, and I seek to, to honor God in all that I do. This is just about at 35, so I'm gonna toss that yeast in. A really cool part of biochemistry is you really look at the, the minuscule details of life. And a really cool um, thing that we learned about in biochemistry is the idea that the environment around us pushes us to decay, but life um, perseveres through that. It shows the intentionality of a creator, because if we didn't have life that persevered through that and pushed through that, and if it was just done by random action, we would have ceased to exist immediately. So I started looking into jobs here on campus, and I looked to see what different ones I could be a part of, uh, what different things I felt called to, uh, and then I found out that they had the opening for university ambassador. So when I found out that by doing this job, I would get a chance to interact with people and show them about Missouri Baptist, which, which I love and which I got a chance to be a part of and grow through, why would I not do that? When you look at an ambassador of Christ, it means that in every single thing that you do, you glorify God. Um, and that should be your, your focus because people who see you and people who interact with you, you're a reflection of Christ. I picked criminal justice as a major that I'm pursuing. My dad was a state trooper up in Iowa and I got a chance to experience through him, his involvement in that field, the people that he got a chance to just change and impact and, and who he got to know more. So a big part of criminal justice is interacting with people when they're at their lowest. And as a Christian, that's what we want to do too. We want to point them when they're at their lowest to the better place of, of Jesus Christ. He also taught me morals. Um, both he and my mom taught me what it means to live a Christian life, uh, to actively pursue Christ in everything that you do. Um, my dad was, was tricky about it. He taught us morals through a adventures and action figures that we played growing up. So both me and my sister, we would play superheroes with him and he'd somehow turn every single thing into a Bible lesson. So when I was looking into different colleges and universities that I wanted to go to, I really knew that I wanted one with a great Christian community and one that would help further my education, especially in that criminal justice field. So when I found MOBAP and came down here and I toured, I fell in love with the campus, fell in love with that community and how it was so Christ-focused and Christ-centered. Uh, and just that it would help develop me into a better follower of Christ and also how they'll just support you in all aspects of life. At the time, I really didn't recognize how important that community was going to be. April 9th of 2021 um, was a day that, that my life changed. Iowans are mourning the loss of Sergeant Jim Smith of the Iowa State Patrol. Smith was killed during a standoff late Friday night in Grundy Center. Iowa State Patrol Sergeant Jim Smith died a hero. My mom is without her soulmate. My sister and I are without our best friend. The best man I know and will ever know. It was my dad along with my mom who taught me about God and his son Jesus Christ who saved me. When I rewatched it and, and I got a chance to, to look at what I had said, it, it, it reminded me that the words didn't come from me um, because I wouldn't have thought of those things to say. Um, so it reminded me that the words came from someone higher than me and that, that God provided me with what he wanted me to say in that moment. Mr. Lane, I do feel anger for the evil that you have done. However, I also know that my dad taught me so much more than of God's righteous anger. He taught me of his mercy too. Missouri Baptist really held me up during that time, uh, both in prayer but then also uh, in presence, uh, and that was a real big blessing. Uh, I had a lot of my friends um, from down here who I was close with. Um, drive all the way up to Iowa to attend the funeral. Um, I had faculty and staff here attended the funeral there. Um, so to see the support from MOBAP was really important for me and the rest of my family. Like Mr. Lang, today we will each be held accountable for our crimes and failures. But rather than leaving us in our sin, God sent Jesus Christ, who didn't fail or mess up in life, but lived a perfect life of obedience. He took the criminal's place and died for us so that we may turn to him and find life. Even if I'm struggling to, to cope with what he has done, uh, to still provide him with the opportunity to repent, um, that's what my dad would have done, and that's what I tried to do.